This video is designed to help create a learning path progress report for your students. This report will help you see your students' status on their learning paths and their levels of achievement on the quizzes within the learning path. To begin this learning path progress report, the first thing you will need to do is click on the Reports tab. Then, after clicking the Reports tab, you will click under Odyssey Reports and click Progress Reports. From here, you will go to the Default Learning Path Status Report. From there, you'll click on Settings. Now, you will need to click where it says Learning Path in order to find the learning path that you would like to run the progress report on. You'll need to find the subject where your learning path is located in. I'll go down to Language Arts. The grades, since I'm a fifth grade teacher, I will click fifth. Now you will click the availability where your learning path will be, and mine is under My School. After you click My School, you'll click Search to find your learning path. Then you will need to click the box next to the desired learning path that you're going to run your report on. After you've selected this, be sure to click where it says Add Selected Items. Now you can see the summary. I have one learning path selected. The next part is you need to add students that you'd like to run the report on. So you'll do this by clicking Students. And then you'll need to go to My Classes and then find which class that you want to run a learning path on. Now by clicking the box next to your class, this will assign all the students and run a report for all those students. However, I'm going to show you how to run a progress report on five students. So I click on students, and then from here I'm going to click five students. After I've clicked those students, I chose five. You can choose however many you would like. And then I would just simply click add selected items. You can see my summary is five total, five students. Now the next step is to click schedule and send. Now I will show you how to set up a report to be emailed at a specific time that you desire. The first part of what you'll do is click on status to make sure the status is on. Now for the start, the earliest date you will be able to set up is the next day. I am doing this on January 9th, so I can only do this as early as January 10th. The run report tab will show how often I want the report to be emailed to me. And what I will do is I want it to be emailed to me once a week. So what I will click is every week. So that means starting January 10th, I will have an email every week that will give me the student's learning path progress report. I will also click on what day of the week I would like this to be emailed. So I'm going to choose every Tuesday I will have this progress report emailed to me. The next part is making sure that Compass Learning has your correct email. If under your settings on Compass Learning you have your email, it will always put your default email up for you. That will always be the default email. You can see my email is located right here because I have that on my settings. However, if you do not have that on your settings, you will simply need to type your email in in this section right here. The next step is to choose the type of attachment that you would like to have on your email. I'm going to choose the PDF file. So to choose that, you just simply click the box located next to where it says PDF file. Now I have everything that I would like for this learning path progress report, so now it's time to run the report. However, before I run this report, I have to make sure that I have a valid email address. So because of that, I'm going to have to erase where it says your email. And then, to run the report, I will simply click Run. My next step is to run the report now. So what I will do is Run Now, click Run Now. The report is generating. This learning path status report will not only show you the completed tasks, but also the tasks that are not started, 
and also quizzes that your student has taken and the results of those quizzes. First of all, everything that is completed will have a blue paper icon on the right hand side. Along with this, everything that the student has not started yet will be a white paper with a pencil. Along with completed and not started assignments, you will also see quizzes that your student has taken throughout the learning path. On the left hand side of the progress report, you will see the mastery default percentage. So for every quiz your student takes, the default mastery level is 70%. On the right hand side, you will see the actual result of every quiz or assignment your student has taken. So you can see my student scored 100% on the first one, 100% on the second one, 88% on the third quiz. If you want to see the next student, you can either simply scroll down. If there are too many tasks for the current student, you will not be able to see the next student. Or you can simply click on the right arrow and that will take you to the next student. That is how you successfully run a learning path status report.